I'm back. <laughs> okay, so this is my regular video. Um, I'm not even sure what number this is. I'm going to look on my phone. I love how my kid just makes his appearance sometimes. I already gave you one. You're not getting another one. Okay. Okay, so I believe this, this is episode 121. And, um... I do want to say a huge thank you. I am over 700 subscribers now. I am at 711. So, I'm pretty excited about that. He's just like my old my old man is my cat. I call him old man all the time. If you watch a lot of my older videos like from a year ago, he pops up like in all I think almost every single one. Um but my old man cat, he was 18 when he passed and um he never liked my door closed. And my kid is now the same way. I shut my door and he does not like it. So I have no privacy. I can't go to the bathroom by myself. Um, and when I close my door and actually latch it, he sits out there and meows and scratches out the door. And then I feel terrible because I locked him out. So, like I said, I have a lot of stuff to show. I have a whole basket over here of finished items and whips. So, I think we're going to do finished items because that's mostly what I have on top. So, I've made um, a couple rosy wraps um, this week. So, you put them... Is it twisted? Maybe not. You put them like this and then you tie them. I'm going to try to sell these. Um, I'm going to tie them and then put them on one of my mannequins and sell them. So this is made from using Red Heart Stripey. It's um, a very, very fuzzy halo -y. Can you even see that? halo -y yarn. Um, it was really nice to work with, but it's kind of a pain in the ass if you have to frog something. Sorry for the language. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the behind if you have to frog, because it like literally sticks to itself. And then I made this one with a bigger hook. So it'll go like this and tie. Um, I do have to measure these, I guess, to let them know what, so what size circumference heads. I also made um, this one. This is in Red Heart Super Saver Icelandic. It's one of my favorite colorways from Red Heart. I also made this one, which is in my new favorite colorway from Red Heart. This is Berry Pulling. It um, is a new pulling yarn that they have at Red Heart. It's only $2.98. So I grab a scanner every once in a while. And then I just added Red Heart Super Saver white around the edges of a scrap ball. Um, and then I have this one. This is the first one I made. I had it tied because I, I tried it on to see, you know, how it would fit and stuff. And it's a little tight on me, so I'm not going to put it on, but... That's what it'll look like. 
Um, I'm gonna lay this one here because it's a work in progress and my own design, which is what this one is also. So next I'm going to show you some of the ponchos that I have made. So I have this one here. This is the, this one here. This is the, um, I got a tutorial off of YouTube here and it's by Ophelia Talks. Um, she made a granny stitch poncho, which within a weekend, I honestly did mine in a couple hours, but if you watch my um, podcast, then you know I'm a fast crocheter, which everybody says I am, but I really don't see it. I just sit and crochet and I get lost in it. And But this is using a 6 millimeter, 6.5 millimeter hook. And I used three cakes of sweet Premier Sweet Rolls. And this was in Pansy Pop. So I have that one. I've made several of these. Um, I went to um, a high school when I went to high school. So, I graduated from high school, so I made one of my high school colors, which is black, blue, and gold. And it's for a child. Then I made this one. And I used a 6.5 millimeter hook for this. And it's using one cake of mandala. And it's just a granny, granny stitch poncho that I really like. So my corners do not match up. But I think it's fine. Now I'm going to show you the one that I made using my own pattern, which is this little thing. It is using the V-stitch, which is my favorite, all-time favorite stitch. Um, and I was going to crochet it. I was looking back through the videos, some of my, the old videos that I've watched. And, well, I typed in Dr. Seuss, Cat in the Hat, and Terry from Yarn Joy Podcast, when she made the cat in the hat, um, amigurumi, I was inspired to, I was just using the red and the white. And then I thought about adding the turquoise because I just think it's really cute. This is, like I said, this is my own pattern. Um, it's pretty easy. I would say, I mean, for me, it is easy. It's, pretty quick to work up like I did that little thing within a half hour 45 minutes but that's just me I have more finished objects I forgot oh and I forgot one I will have to go get it hang on up Okay, so we're gonna. I guess we still are on finished objects, aren't we? Whoops. Okay, so I have a couple finished baby blankets that I am going to be posting on um, my Facebook group of my selling, my items that I want to sell. So I finished the 50 50 granny, it is pretty big. And this is seamless, so you, um, I know I have stitch markers on this one. So it is the 50-50 granny square, 
and I just did a simple scallop border. Um, I did start with five, but I knew I wasn't going to have enough yarn, so I only did three. And I think it came out pretty cute. Um, if you guys have any ideas about how I can show these, like, how I can pose them, I guess, um, that would be great, but it's in rainbow colors, it's in the mandala gnome, um, so I have that one. Honestly, I'm thinking about just kind of folding it, like, in my hanger here. Folding it and putting it through, like, half and half or something. And do it this way, but I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to pose these baby blankets to sell them. So... If you have any suggestions on how I could do that, that would be great. And that is also a whip. The next um, finished baby blanket that I finished, I honestly, guys, thought I was never, ever, ever going to finish this baby blanket. You guys say I'm a fast crocheter, but let me tell you what. This baby blanket was really testing my patience. So, oh, I used a six. No, I did not. I used a 5.5 millimeter hook for that baby blanket. The 50-50 granny spur one. For most of my ponchos, for the um, pansy pop, which is a purple, gray, and white one. I used a 6.5. For the Honey Duke's Mandala one, I believe I used a 6. Um, for the blue, or the blue and gold one, I used a 6 also. What? I'm trying to do a video. Yeah. And can I tell you the baby blanket one? The 50-50 um, granny I used a 5.5. I think I did say that. So this is the Which Way Filet baby blanket. It is in the colorway, which is um ice cream, the big scoop. I had two small cakes of it. I used every last bit. This right here is all I had left with the cat hair sticking off of it. Several cat hairs. This is all I had left. Just this little tiny ball from using two cakes. And this is the size. And then I just went around it in um, solid white Red Heart Super Saver. But that is that one. And I literally just finished this one today. Um, I wanted to get it done a week ago, but with everything going on, I just... I was tired of baby blankets and I wanted to work on something different. So I took up a bunch of random yarn to my mom's this past week and just worked one stuff I know I have I have a lot in this one I don't know why I think it was because I was marking my progress I had five in that one oh, crap so this is the um it's originally supposed to be a throw but, um, I wanted it to be a baby blanket. Picking my lip, which is not good. And I used Mandala Peacock, and I used a 
six. And this is what it looks like. It's a pretty good size. I used two, almost two full balls. I had to ball about this big left. So to match this, I made a tiny little hat, which is the green. I wanted more colors with it, but I was working on the blanket in the from the inside out. So I made the baby hat from the outside yarn and it was all that green. So, yeah. Now we are on to whips, finally. Okay, so I'm going to start with the ones that are right here beside me. So I have another granny stitch poncho started. And it's this one. The, the blue is Aruba Sea. The purple is Pale Plum. And the pink is Light Raspberry. And I'm using a 6 for this. No, 6.5, that's right. I'm using a 6.5 for this. I have light raspberry literally attached. Um, I'll show you that one last. My other whips are... Um, I ha I'm still not worked. I haven't worked on this for a while. And it is the call the midwife blanket in honeybee. So I'm still on my first cake. I'm planning on just using the first cake until it is used up and see how how big it is. So So yeah, I'm so going I'm still working on that one. I really want to get these baby blankets finished so I can start working on other stuff. The next one is a seamless granny square and it, I am using the it is never enough or craft smart yarn by Michaels from Michaels it is the seamless granny square I'm using a six for this and I'm just gonna go until I run out of yarn I have like three or four cakes of this so I wanted more baby boy blankets on the hook, so I started that one, and then I also started this one like the same day, and this is with the 6.6 6 millimeter, I think, and it's the same thing, it's just, this yarn is Funny Prince or something like that, it's one of the Burnett baby sport yarns from Walmart. I have this small cake and then I have another bigger cake. And this one I'm going to lay over here because that's what I want to work on next, I think. No, actually, next I think I want to work on this. This is a corner to corner shawl that I am working on that I really, really want to get finished, so I might actually work on this one. Um, I am working on another baby blanket, and it is, and I just dropped my yarn, the pineapple of my eye. I've been seeing this pattern every, when, every time I get on YouTube. I see this pattern, and... I see the pattern and it looks really, really complicated. And I was like, nope, can't do it. Nope, 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 nope. Finally, I'm like, I'm just going to watch the tutorial and see how complicated it really is. It's really not that complicated. What really worried me was the pineapple stitches. And it's really not that bad. And I am using cupcake yarn, which is a big mess because I've been working on it really hard today. So I'm using cupcake yarn and it's the color jelly bean. Um, I actually have to get my case because the hook that I'm using for the shawl is an eight and I do not have an eight over here. 
And the last thing I want to show you is the, I'm calling this size the teen, like the 12, 13 to young adult, um, which is this poncho here. Um, I can try it on for you. I'm not the best model. I did have it done until the light purple, but I think I can stand up. So it just comes to there. I am doing five rows of each color. So this is what I have so far is this. So, um, I just wanted to say thank you to my pattern testers for offering to help me. Um, so the pad, I do, I do want to say an individual thank you to each one. So I want to thank Luana. Is, hopefully that's how you spell your name. She is from Hawaii. I think, I think, I think she's from Hawaii. I'm not sure. I do apologize if you're not. Um, she offered a test and Luana, I haven't heard from you for a while. So if you could please, um, contact me through Facebook messenger or my email and let me know how you're making out with my pattern. Um, I'd appreciate that. Um, Stephanie, Stephanie Lansbury, um, thank you for testing my pattern. Uh, thank you for telling me that it's good. Um, and Brenda, Laura, she is from Bears Crochet Critters, right? Did I get that right? Yeah, I think it's Bears Crochet Critters or something. <laughs> Yarn fuzz. That's gross. Um, she sent me a cute, cute pic picture of her kitty that's helping her. Um, so that was cute. Um, so if you can get in contact with me, with me again, Brenda, and let me know how you're making out, I'd really appreciate that. And... <clears throat> and who was the other one? Hmm. I think she sent me an email. <clears throat> wow, what crap. It's amazing how many emails you get. Yeah. Okay. It's Bears Crochet Critters. That's what it is. Sheesh. Um. I know I chew my lip. I've always done that. I... All right, I'm trying to find who the other one is. Why is it not showing me? So I have Brenda, Luana, Stephanie, and why is it not telling me? Hmm. And Andrea. That's it. I'm so sorry, Andrea. I don't know why it wouldn't tell me. So I have Brenda from um, Bears Crochet Critters. 
I have Stephanie Lansbury, I have Andrea Jones, and Luana. So thank you everybody for testing my pattern. Um, if you would like the pattern for the child size, please let me know. And I have, I think I have the math figured out for for the um um adult adult size. Well, I guess it is the adult size since my other one is child, teen to a uh, teen to. Which, that one fits me, but the purple one, it fits me, but it doesn't fit me the way that I think it should, if that makes any sense. So, um, like I said, if you have any ideas, on what I posted on my, when I did my yard haul, I was mentioning about the um about the my 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 pattern if you have any suggestions or ideas of how it can be paid for um without having to get a bank card or anything like that please let me know because that would be awesome and if there is cards at Walmart that is like a bank card, please let me know that also. Because I would love to get one and have this be paid for. So so I think that is it for today. Um, I am going to work on this and get this finished. So that should be in my finished objects next week. Um... I have to go find my case and get my 8mm hook out. And I will talk to you guys next week. By the way, it is Saturday night. It is 11.34pm. And this is episode 122. So, have a great night guys and I will talk to you later. Bye!